He wants us to live in the realm of the Garden of Eden. He wants to bring us back up to where Adam was in the garden. Hello, I'm Kenneth Copeland. Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made the way for me. Hello, everybody. I'm Gloria Copeland, and welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Hallelujah. Pastor George is back, and we're talking about your prosperity and my prosperity. So this is very interesting. This is going to be interesting, we Gloria. We are paying attention. We are. We're, we're listening to what the Lord is saying to us right now. And I'm so glad to be on with you on this second well, week. I'm glad to have you back. We are talking about prospering in tough times. Yes, that's right. We prosper right through. That's right. All the way through. <clears throat> that's the international sign for prospering all yes. the way through. Yes. No matter what is happening. It's the truth. It is the truth. No matter what is happening, no matter where the economy is, no matter what is taking place, we always prosper. That's right. No matter what disease has hit the earth, we are healed. We're healed. That's right. No matter what kind of fear tries to grip us, we stand in faith because we have victory over death. That's right. No matter what is happening in the economy, we are always thriving, not yes, surviving. That's right. We are thriving. And that and is because that Jesus is because bore the curse. That's right. Of all the bad that's right. stuff for us, for you and me. That's right. We were the only ones who would have done it for us. He did it for but us. There's so many of us now. <laughs> we are redeemed from the curse. We are. And the curse of the law is the anything, Bible says that. anything where we are lacking in any area, we've been redeemed or rescued out of that. Yeah. So right. we, we're talking about living in this world and yet prospering. And it's not just prosper. I mean, it's not just <clears throat> money. It's right. health. We we've been redeemed yeah. from sickness. Everybody ought to study the curse just to see what they've come out of. That's a great idea. Because I'm telling you, it's awesome. And then the That's, blessing to see what we were put into. Yeah. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28, it's, 1 through 14 is the blessing. It's then not the rest up of it. For, uh, for uh, any other thing, it's not up for explanation. It's That's, just there. That's exactly <laughs> right. Hallelujah. Well, I also want to remind you that all of the notes that we are teaching from are on kcm.org right now. Just click to the picture of Glory and Me and it'll take you over to where the notes are and you can join us as Hallelujah. we're studying these. Print these That's out. Right. <clears throat> Get yes. these out to your friends and to, preach it. to church pastors. You can preach these notes. You can use these notes and all of the notes that we have been teaching from. And at the end of this week, we'll, we will have accomplished 180 days of prosperity. Wow. You know, I believe you receive a hundredfold return of revelation. <clears throat> I receive that. You shared and all I these receive things. that. Glory to and God. And I just, I just want to say to you, Gloria, how much I appreciate what you and Kenneth have done, not just for me, but for the body of Christ. And you have really opened up our eyes and our hearts Thank to you, see Lord. God prospering His people. Amen. We believe it. I remember <clears throat> years ago when I was traveling uh, with Kenneth at the time, this is when I first came here, he would get on the platform and he'd say things like, now this ministry is called to do, and I'd write it down. Yeah. And then I'd be out on the road again. This ministry is called to do, and I wrote all of those things down. I wrote them, I have them here in my Bible. All the things that he wrote down, what this ministry was called to do, I took note of that. Okay. And one of the things that you and I are fulfilling on this broadcast and these broadcasts on prosperity is the day that I heard him say this, we are called, we are called to teach the laws that govern supernatural abundance Praise and prosperity. God. Amen. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And I'm Hallelujah. excited about it. And we've experienced <clears throat> it for a lot of years. Well, yeah. And yeah. we started from minus zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were under. We were under the barrel. <clears throat> you were under the barrel. But when we began to hear the word, see the word, and about prospering, we took it. We're no dummies. We might not have known much at the time, but we learned. Well, you started that in 1967, and you've been through recessions. You've yeah. been through ups and downs eco economically That's true. Um, in this ministry, but we have never lacked. That's right. We face some, some miracle. challenging times, but we've always gotten out of it. I remember when this ministry was a million dollars behind. That was in 1982. How could you forget that, I know. Well, 
<clears throat> that one was actually. I'd like not to remember. That one was before the six million dollar. Oh, yeah. A million dollars, but that's when, that's when Kenneth went to Arkansas to pray. Yeah. And the Lord said to him, tithe. Tithe. Ten percent of the income of this ministry yeah. out into other ministries. We did that in 19, I think that was 1982. Mm -hmm. And that tithe has been working for us ever Praise since. God. We never stopped, no matter what was going on. Even in 1988, when we were going through the $6 million deficit, we never stopped tithing. Don't stop tithing. Now is not the time to stop tithing. Not in your personal life <clears throat> or in your ministry. That keeps the windows of heaven open. Business, or your business. It keeps the faith of God alive yeah. on the inside of us. Yeah. So let's take That's a look good. at a scripture here, Gloria, as we like prosperity. jump back into this. You know, some people don't seem to like it. No, they don't, do I they? I don't understand that. I don't get it. I, I, like somebody I, said, I've been rich and I've been poor, and rich is better. Rich is better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who said that, but well, anyway, somebody you, said Well, I remember when we first, there was a card. You had a card. Had a monkey on it. Oh yeah, that was the monkey. That's where that monkey said that. Even the monkey, monkey even the monkey that. said it. That's where it came from. <clears throat> I've been rich. I've been poor. Rich is better. Rich is better. Uh, but of course, why would God put all this good stuff in the earth if He didn't want it for His people? He wants us, and He wants everybody for His people, so everybody could have it. He wants us to live in the realm of the Garden of Eden. That's right. He wants to bring us back up to where Adam was in the garden. All of our needs met. Everything met, everything supplied, creating That was the, his will. That He's was still, his will. He doesn't yeah. change his will. <clears throat> that was his he desire. He just couldn't get anybody to walk with him much. Right. But I'm willing. I'm Here willing I too. Am, Lord. <clears throat> I'm walking with the Lord as well. Colossians chapter one. Let's okay. look at this in verse 12, and then we'll jump off from here into the week. Okay. We give thanks unto the Father which has made us to be partakers of the inheritance, inheritance of the saints in light. Glory to and God. I am so thankful, Gloria, that my inheritance is not based on the fluctuation of the market. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, your inheritance is up one day, it's down the next. Based on this word. <clears throat> it's based on the word of God. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 13. He's delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We're there. So we're there. We're there. We are there. But what we have to do, and this is what you brought out. We should out. write a book entitled, We're There. <laughs> I've got a list of books that <laughs> well, Gloria... Keep busy, George. <laughs> Gloria wants me to... We're there. Hallelujah. There it is. We're there. Okay. So we are in the kingdom of God. But we have to get our minds renewed to life. To operate. Life in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Now, That's there's right. a book title for That's you. That's a good one. Life, life in the kingdom. Life in the kingdom. How do we operate in the kingdom? You were telling me last week that when you and Kenneth first got saved, it took a few years before you were really beginning to renew your minds yeah, we didn't know on the Word of God. We were, we were uh, extremely ignorant for a while. <laughs> extremely ignorant. We didn't know. It. We weren't ignorant. We were ignorant. I mean, you know. That's a difference. Plain no ignorant. Ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, you know, Gloria, I was the same way when I first got we born again. We didn't know again. what the Bible said. And I started digging into this, and it was... Uh, I was born again in 1972. In 1975, that's when I went to ORU and I first heard Kenneth preach. That is when the real depth of the Word started coming into my life. Praise God. And I was having changes take oh, place. Oh, so exciting. <clears throat> I, learned, yeah. I learned from his messages that it was not God's will for me to be sick. I learned that. Yeah. From him. Because where I came out of, there's always a question about that. Well, you know, maybe could God, be God's will. Could be God's will for you to be nope. sick on. No. Mm -mm. No. So I learned that and we have to develop in this, and that's what these broadcasts are all about. Not just the ones that Gloria and I are doing. Yeah. But I was thinking about the BVOV broadcast in general right. and how this is designed by God to help people renew their minds to what rightfully right. belongs to them. And how long have we been on television? Before? Well, this daily broadcast started in 1988, 88, 89, 89. And then the, uh, the Sunday broadcast, that began, that was 1979. Right. So we've been, We've been renewing We've been the minds <laughs> for Hallelujah. a long time. Amen. Gloria, we are not subject to the times that we are in. No. We, we are not subject, nor are we under the dominion, the rule, or the control 
In this Thank case, you, in the economy, whichever direction that it's going, we are subject to the kingdom of God. That's where we are. Jesus prayed over us in John 17, the separation prayer. I sanctify you. Yeah. I separate you from the world. You may be in the world, but you are not of this world. So we're separated That's right. from the world. The word will separate you. The world will separate us from the world. The and word will separate The word us. will separate us from the world. That's right. And no matter what is going on in your life right now financially, God wants you to be a kingdom dweller and he wants Amen. you to be above and not beneath, the head and not the ta ta table, <laughs> tail. And you need to be... <laughs> You need to be in a place where you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, no matter what is going on in the market or what is going on in the economy, you prosper in spite of it. That's right. In spite of it. That's exactly. And it, we're here to testify that it, it'll happen if you'll do it. We'll, and you'll we are prosper. doing it. We Let's turn over to Genesis it. chapter 26. And what we're going to do for the next couple of days is we're going to look at an example of a man who was in a time of famine, an economic downturn, but yet he became the richest man in the world. That's Isaac. I heard Isaac. Kenneth say that. We were in Branson at Keith and Phyllis Moore's church. And I remember when, <clears throat> when Kenneth talked about that that night, he was talking about this very scripture, Genesis 26, about Isaac in the time of famine. And, he, and I just really hadn't thought about this before, but Isaac became the richest man in the world. Hmm. You know, the other day, I printed this out from the internet. <clears throat> Forbes just came out with, for last year, the richest people in the world. Did you see your name there? Yeah, I was in there. I was good, in good, there. Good. Uh, and I'm, I see myself there. <laughs> I see myself in there. <laughs> and I was looking at all of the different pictures of the people and the billions of dollars that they were worth. That's interesting. It's very interesting to see that. And, and me being the artist that I am, I took, I took my pen and I drew a little square above the number one guy. And I, drew a, and I was studying this and I drew a, I drew a picture of Isaac <laughs> up there. I see. Yeah, number I one uh -huh. richest man in the world. And he became the richest man in the world and he reaped the hundredfold return in the middle of a major economic downturn. Praise God. That's living Hallelujah. the kingdom now life. Now that's in uh, Genesis, that's Genesis 26. Genesis 26. And what we're going to look at today is actually, we will look at the first verse. We'll cover the second and third tomorrow. But there's okay. something that we need to see today in the very first verse. Mm, I'm it interested. says, there was a famine in the land. Like beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham, and Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, under Gerar. So they, they, <clears throat> they had been in famine. Yep. And now they're in famine again. They're in or famine they again. They never got out of it, I yep. assume. So they, this, is, this is tough. This is harder than... This was serious. This they were in a bad economy. It Let's was just a, put it that way. It was a bad economy. We haven't seen that tough. No. Mm -mm. And so this is what I wanted to do was to establish... What the Bible... This says, here, you yeah, know, go I've got interesting margins in yeah, my Bible that I've written. The famine is severe. What is that word? Severe... Shortage? Shortage. Is that what that is? Shortage. Severe shortage. It's shortage. It was... I can read the reading, but sometimes my writing <laughs> throws me off. But it is shortage. Okay. Severe shortage. That's what That's a famine is. That's what a is. famine is. Severe shortage. Not just shortage, but severe It's a shortage. severe shortage. That's right. You know, I looked up some definitions of that word famine and severe shortage was one. Extreme scarcity. Extreme scarcity. And then it's a serious economic downturn. So he was, at that time, they were in an extremely serious place. And I, I'm reminded right here, I'll just read this to you, Gloria. This is a word that Brother Copeland had August the 6th of 2010, this was at the Southwest Believers Convention. The world is in serious trouble, mm -hmm. but for the household of faith and all that will cling to my word, everything is going to be all right. Yes. The oh, world yes. is in serious trouble. Some very hard things are coming in different places around the world. They're that way now, but they're not going to get better. Mm -hmm. They will continue to get worse and worse. It's on a downhill run that the world cannot stop. But for the household of faith, 
everything is going to be all right. Praise you God. will have to take a stand and you'll have to fight the good fight of faith. Now, when was that? It's 2010. 2010. Here we are five years later. And <clears throat> he said that they're that way now, they're not going to get better. So what, ha what is happening? Have to take, you have to take a stand. You have to take have a to stand. Act on the Word. Yep. Confess the Word. That's right. Believe the Word. In the middle of all of this. Yeah. We have to do that. And times like this. You have no fear. They are very difficult for people who either don't know God or they don't know His Word. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all about here is that you know God in times like this and you know His Word. You know that's what His right. Word says. And what I wanted to do, Gloria, was just take a quick look here at, at what the Bible says about famine and us. H how are we in times of famine? So take a look at your notes. I want you to see these scriptures right here. And you have these notes available to you as well. It's important for us to see this. Take a look at these scriptures. This is the first one is Job 5, 20. We're talking about what God's Word tells us about times of famine. And in Job, Job chapter 5 and in verse 20, <clears throat> it says, in famine, now this is the King James Version. We'll read the New Living in a moment. In famine, he shall redeem you from death, in war from the power of the sword. Praise now that's, God. Now what scripture is that about? <clears throat> that's, that's Job uh, 5, 20. I'm reading it from the King James We've got the New Living in our notes, and I'll read that New Some Living in a moment. Some of our listeners have people probably in military. And they probably do. Five, five what? Job 520. 520. In okay. famine, he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Praise God. That's good. Thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, neither shall you be afraid of destruction when it comes. At destruction and famine, you shall laugh. Ha! Huh. Yeah. I like we laugh at the face of destruction and famine. Why? Because we are victorious over it. That's right. This is the victory that overcomes, that overcomes the, world, the world, even our faith. That's Glory what it is. God. That's what it is. Now, <clears throat> that's, I think I'm already excited. Praise God. We, we have the advantage. You know, Kenneth taught a series on faith one time at the Believers' Convention, and he called it Faith the believer's advantage. I like that. We I have an advantage. That. We have an advantage. That's good. Faith. And we can laugh. Faith. The believer's The believer's advantage. advantage. That'd be a good book. I think of a <laughs> another lot of, book. I think a lot of good titles. We've got another book going Faith, here. Faith, the believer's advantage. Faith, the believer's advantage. Good. I like that. On our notes here, it says in Psalm 33, 18, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Yeah upon them that hope in His mercy or that rely on His unfailing love mm -hmm. to deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Glory to God. Again, no matter what is going on around us, no matter what is happening, right. we are lifted up by the Word of God and we're redeemed from famine. In Psalm 37, 18 and 19, the Lord knows the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. Hallelujah. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine, they, they shall, shall be, be satisfied. satisfied. I will satisfy him with a long, <clears throat> long life. life. And here it says we'll be satisfied in famine. We'll be satisfied so in satisfied. famine. we're satisfied. Hallelujah. Satisfied. The Hebrew of satisfied means to have enough, to be mm -hmm. filled up. To, to have plenty of, no matter what plenty. is going on, Gloria, no matter what like is happening that, in the economy, we are always satisfied. That's right. We always have enough. That's exactly we right. always have plenty. And in the New Living Translation, it says, even in famine, they'll have more than enough. And in the Hebrew, listen to this. Those are all awesome. <clears throat> the Hebrew says, he will supply until no more is needed. Praise God. I find Praise that God. Great. Glory to God. And then in these last couple of moments, we just have a few moments left here. In Proverbs, and you're looking at the second page, Proverbs 10 mm -hmm. to the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. That's right. And he adds no, no sorrow, sorrow to it. To it. In Hallelujah. times of famine, no curse. we don't just survive, we thrive. Amen. We flourish. 
the blessing of the Lord is working for us all the time, mm -hmm. especially during tough times. And we thrive during those tough times. The definition of Read thrive that. on That's point great. three over there, yeah. it means to prosper, to flourish, to succeed, to advance, to grow vigorously, yeah. vigorously to increase in goods, estate, and stature. At all times. At all times, no mm -hmm. matter what. And that's what we're going to find out about Isaac here in the, in the next couple of days. God, in great. spite of severe famine, what we're about to do is to witness a man, Isaac, who increased in goods, in stature, yeah. in estate, and we are about to see Isaac defy an economic downturn. That's right. We do not get our information from <clears throat> Wall Street. From the newspaper. That's right. From any other magazine. That's right. We get our information from the Word the of God. The Word of God. Come and on, Gloria. And so we thrive. We thrive. Glory we to God. We thrive in these Even times. Even in hard times, we thrive. <clears throat> it says in Isaiah 51, 3, For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He shall comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden, our wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Yes. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and Hallelujah. the voice of melody. And I'll just close out with this, Gloria. This is a quote from Pastor Bill Winston. Oh, good. And Pastor Bill says this, If you have the kingdom of God operating, it operates above, above. the system of the world and in spite oh, that's of good, the system Brother Bill. of the world. I like that. Yeah. Father, we thank you, thank you Lord. that we are thriving and yeah. flourishing in these economic times. Thank you, And Jesus. that just like Isaac, he was able to reap the hundredfold return right in the middle yes. of famine. That's and right. so are we. We are able to do that. We receive it Thank in you, Jesus' Jesus. name. Praise God, Gloria. Oh, Georgie, that's We're good. We're off to a good start this yep, week. Yep, yep, yep. You got us off to good. I mean, there's nothing like the Word of God. There's there? nothing like it. My goodness. Praise God. And if those of you that are new, just, just get in here with us. Get your <laughs> yeah. Bible. Write these scriptures down. They're for you. They're for you as much as they're for George or me That's or anybody. Right. That's right. If you're a believer, if you're not a believer, make Jesus the Lord of your life and you'll have some real help Amen. coming in. George and I'll be right back. The Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast study notes will help you dive deeper into these powerful word-based teachings. Get all five days of notes at one time. Use them during the week for your personal study time. Download them free at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Create a special family devotional time to follow along with the notes as you watch the broadcast. Study the scriptures with your children and begin instilling God's word now. Use these notes to build your faith library and build up a heritage of faith. We live in a time when challenges and uncertainty surround us. Jesus said we are in this world, but not of it. We function under a different and stable kingdom. God is our refuge and stronghold in times of trouble. No matter what is happening around us, we shine as a light of God's protection and goodness. We thrive and not just survive. The How to Prosper in Tough Times package includes a 10-part series with Gloria Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons. The study notes of all 10 sessions are also included and are useful to delve deeper into the scriptures taught in the messages or are great for you to share with others. This series will encourage you and strengthen your trust in God. Understand how much God loves you and that he is well able to take care of you no matter the circumstances. You can experience his supernatural provision in your life today. Request your free copy of How to Prosper in Tough Times, an in-depth study by Gloria Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons on how to apply God's Word to any situation and come out victorious. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01225 787 310. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. Let's live in God's best. His best is for us to be thriving and not just surviving, hallelujah. We can live in the kingdom of God while we're here in the earth. That's the only place That's to it. live. It's the only safe, That's blessed it. place.
place to live. That's right. George, tell us what we've got to help. We're offering the teachings that we're doing, CDs, DVDs, as well as Gloria, all of the notes plus supplemental information that's not included on I this broadcast. Yes, ma'am, you can have it. This is going to help renew our minds operating above the system of the world. Amen. That's what we're talking Praise about. God. What a I series. Mean, you know, if you, wanna, if you wanna live supernaturally, you're gonna have to learn how. You don't just get that drifting down on you. We wanna pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for every person today. Reveal your word of blessing and Thank healing you, and prosperity right. and all right. the good things the good that belongs things. to them as believers. You, and if they're not, born again, Lord, remember, Praise remind God. them of how you get born again. You make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life and everything you, becomes new yes. in you. And then after a while, everything in your life changes. That's right. So we pray for you. We, we bless you. Get in a good church that preaches you the word. Join us tomorrow. We're going to talk about supernatural harvest, prospering in spite of an economic downturn. That's right. That's this right. is Gloria and George reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Thank you for joining us today on the Believer's Voice of Victory. Go to kcm.org.uk to receive free faith-based teaching resources, such as a digital download of today's Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. You can download it straight to your computer or mobile. Continue to grow in your faith in God and live in the wisdom of His Word. Believe God to bring new visions his manifested power and great change in your life. Wherever you are in the world, it's easier than ever before to connect with Kenneth Copeland Ministries and enjoy all of our online media, including content exclusive to our website. Visit us at kcm.org and gain access to over 50 years of Bible teaching from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland right at your fingertips. Watch live streaming video of the Believer's Voice of Victory Sunday and daily broadcasts. Enjoy live programs from the Victory Channel and experience special events on demand. Browse through hours of archived audio and video teaching and immerse yourself in the Word through the online devotional From Faith to Faith. Download the latest BVOV magazine, including our enhanced interactive version. This free monthly publication is filled with powerful tools for spiritual growth, articles by ministry leaders, testimonies from partners, and much more. Watch the broadcast. Read the magazine designed, listen to me, to be a study center. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Is it possible to live free from fear in this dangerous and unpredictable world? Yes, it most definitely is, because protection is a solid promise from God. It is promised to those who abide in the Lord. To abide means to dwell, to remain and continue. To abide in the shadow of the Almighty is to live in continued union with Him, keeping His word and obeying His voice. Those who abide in the Lord can live without dread of what the devil will do. If you are afraid of the dangers around you, spend more time in the word and in prayer until your trust in God overcomes your fear. Draw closer to the Lord until you're abiding in the shadow of the Almighty. And no matter how dangerous the world becomes, He surely shall deliver you.